Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the layout container. This object has been recently added in Click um, Dashboard Bundle. Uh, it's available in Custom Objects. Uh, there was a previously another container which is it's different from that container. Um, so uh, again, both can have multiple objects, but this container can uh, ha have is a lot more mm, options. And let's see. I, I like this container anyways. Okay, so let's get started. I just dragged that in here. And uh, if you see, we have the options to add a content here. Um, let's just try like previous, uh, the other container. If, uh, if I drag the object here, it does not get added. So in order to add the object, we either have to click add content here or we can add here. So these are the two options. And when we do that, we can see all the master items here. So uh, let's click the master item here. So yeah, so another thing I have noticed, uh, you might have noticed a URSL as well. It took a little time uh, to uh, get the object. So, and I have added two. So this can be, you know, um, I actually, you know, impatiently clicked twice. So just, uh, and we have two. So just give it a little time, three, four seconds. It will automatically appear. So I think it's like a bit slow might be just my um, system but it's normally slow okay now there are other options so i can you know move it anywhere uh, there is no gray like you know um, static uh, lines has to be uh, i can move it anywhere i can move it outside this you know preview pre as well so uh, these kind of options are here now before going further i'm gonna just go into the container object options so one option is we can add charts and then we have also the appearance option. In appearance sec section, apart from styling, if we see the styling, this is more like title, uh, etc. We can have an, a background image. That's fine. That's uh, I'm not going to go into that. But by the way, you can do amazing statics uh, using these options. But I'm interested more in these options, keeping the chart inside. So now I if I check this option, so and now if I drag this chart, you see it was going outside the purview, but now it's in my view. Uh, I cannot make it outside. So this option can be very handy uh, because it, at times it can be frustrating when you are developing and the things are going, you know, you, uh, move it here and goes out. And also there is an option for the grid line charts. But this chart line doesn't mean that the, your object has to be on these lines. They are just for the indication purposes. And you create object, you can add a symmetry because now it has become more important because the object can be on top of each other or they can be anywhere. So symmetry is important. So these grid charts help to um, keep the symmetry. But they are not like the uh, previous the grid chart or sheet that you have can move object only on those lines. So you can move the object anywhere. So that's another good thing here. Okay. So now let's just add this object, uh, just make this like this. And now I'm going to add another object. This time around, I'm going to add, no, unlike the master object, I'm going to add a new visualization. So I'm going to say KPI. And in this KPI chart, I'm going to say that uh, it's going to be sales net sales here just like this one okay so let's make this here i'm gonna show it over here okay so uh just do um uh, if you have, might have noticed so this object appear on top of this okay so the reason is that whenever you add an object it will like you know like in powerpoint or any um paint the layers get on top of each other the new layer get on top so if i want to bring this layer back i can just click right click here and you see there are options like duplicating copy etc uh, even adding to the master object or i can just go in here and send it to back when i do that you might have seen the options here it changes here as well so this is another way i can arrange the layers so the top layer will uh, the first layer will be on the top so I can use this option as well to um, keep the things on top and I can also duplicate uh, the chart from here as well so as soon as I do that I have to 
charts now and the next one the new one i'm gonna do that i'm gonna oh, okay so now i can edit the properties from here of this object if you want to or i can go right click and edit the object properties and uh, instead of net sales i'm gonna use um, this time around i'm gonna use cost of goods sold here and uh, i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna change the colors here and i'm gonna say not library colors but use this red color okay for the cost of goods sold so now i have this option here and if you see it's basically kind of a legend as well this thing corresponds with that um, um or you know legends can be shown for this particular object like here i'm just gonna edit it and i'm gonna show you the legends so i have turned that off uh turn off these legends so it can show her but it doesn't look good so i might want to get rid of these legends here and instead i'm gonna use kpi uh you know kind of two um things uh, killing uh, two birds with one stone so let's do that and i'm gonna just press ctrl z to uh you know get rid of the uh the options that i just added okay it's not doing that let's see okay no okay no worries so let's move that uh, manually here go to the added properties oh yeah it's master object so it's it's kind of tricky uh, when you're trying to control Z on the master object properties anyways I'm gonna turn that off the legends here and I'm gonna go to added sheet so you know it's kind of cool like they they show the legend as well they kind of okay but it doesn't look cool even you know uh, it it seems like a different object so now this is an important thing because of the layering options so this is uh, I think it's very important to understand that we can um we master or we use the styling options for objects uh, very uh, effectively here so i'm gonna go to the styling options with kpa object so here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say the single color and you know no color at all essentially so you see now uh, right away i can see the objects here in the background you know lines have started appearing and i'm also gonna put the border length to zero okay so you know it seems like you know the part of this object now and i can also i'm gonna do the same thing uh, for this particular kpa object here as well and let's go to styling and uh, for this one i'm gonna use the expression color so you can you know rather than completely uh, giving away the color we can you know uh, use argb coloring options so let's say i'm just gonna keep a little bit of uh, this so grayish little bit grayish background here and let's just oh i think i changed the different one again and anyway, yeah i changed the and this one again and let's just change this one right click here make sure that this is the object i'm changing so what i'm gonna do is go on styling options single color no background and the outline zero here okay here we go okay so we have uh, this option here nice option here and uh, now i'm gonna add another object here and again let's add that from the master items i have at the map here okay so You see um, this basically whenever I move the object um, it changes the position automatically uh, whenever I change the size of the container the reason for that is if we go to the e object properties again here so you can see you know we have the width etc everything in percentage uh, it's not formula based though the show condition is formula based but everything else is like fixed one uh, but uh, you know it gives a nice uh, idea that we can change our um, settings etc okay uh, let's just uh, make it bigger another thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a filter object here so 
again I cannot directly add the object here so only option is to go here and add the object here so let's just add uh, filter pin and okay again sorry my bad again I click two twice so there is going to be two filter pin here so let's just get delete one and now add dimension for the second one so I'm gonna add category here and I'm gonna add another dimension here let's say country here that's good okay so now let's just squeeze it in here and you see uh, I have some of some space uh, on top of this particular option so like you know I can use uh, normally I won't be able to put anything here uh, but you know I can you know make it count yeah, okay so it seems like you know uh, it's very nice consistent uh, theme okay so um, and I can use this uh, you know uh, I'm gonna use another option here we have if I go to container again in appearance uh, there is another option uh, that's again uh, available in all the objects it's called the alternate state so uh, I can you know completely disassociate the things here so I'm gonna say group one here so by default all the objects has you know the state uh, of the object is inherited so that's again uh, kind of uh, explain the difference between a default state and inherited state so you see if I go in here uh, if I see the properties of this particular object here in appearance it's also inherited okay you see but now if I click I select anything here man's footwear let's for example so the selection get done here but it does not get here uh, done here again everything is inherited in an inherited state but the selections are only impacting this particular uh, uh, container okay so this can be you know nice good option so you uh, you know you can uh, again um, uh, make multiple things uh, in this one and again all the chart options that we have for this chart they are also available here if you see you know all the, these options are here and uh, I think a uh, few options they are not here like an exploration menu we do not have the exploration menu here uh, which is available uh, for uh, in here uh, other than then uh, other options are available here um, uh, mostly uh, we can see in here okay and uh, another thing is like we have additional uh, this option here which is specifically uh, related to the container object now I click in here and I go to container object I can copy this container and paste this container so there can be a duplicate two options so for example if you are making a comparative analysis for two things side by side different comparison uh, selections to be done and just see you know side by side what's happening you can just create a uh, another you know state and just use uh, this one for the comparison purposes as well so uh, that's it that's more like a technical overview I know that uh, it's not uh, like very aesthetic and very pretty but um, uh, if you check the examples people have done a very brilliant job uh, to showcase you know this technical um, statics in there uh, so I'm not gonna go into those details the idea was here to uh, give you more technical overview so in nutshell uh, you can add and this container object there is no limitation to um, uh, objects to adhere uh, you know in terms of their canvas they can be anywhere and uh, you can put the things on top of each other you can control even by you know writing directly rather than you know um, you can be more precise um, by adding you know exact weights heights etc here rather than um, um, you know just stipulating and another thing that you can do is um, you can uh, use the state of uh, function uh, alternate states uh, to make an isolated analysis uh, as well 
and uh, then you can put the objects on top of each other and you can you know by using this uh, layout thing uh, you can add a lot more value especially in terms of aesthetics of your application thank you very much for watching stay tuned for next videos